So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the yellow joggers with the yellow tron top and the yellow tron shoes with the cob belt. So if you wanna, if you also wanna know how to make this red outfit right here, just go watch the last video from yesterday. So to start it off, you wanna make sure that you've deleted your female character, or you can delete her um, while we're doing the glitch. So your female character has to be your second character, and also make sure that you buy either um, a rebreather or an earpiece from Ammunition. Just go to ammunition and buy either a leaf, um, rebreather or an earpiece. It doesn't matter which color earpiece you buy. And also, remember that you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So just equip the outfit that you don't want to lose before you start the glitch. So I'm not going to lose this outfit with the red Tron top. So just make sure that you put on the outfit that you don't want to lose before you go ahead and um, start with the glitch. So when you want to start, just go ahead and hit pause, go to online, and go into swap character. Alright, so after you've gone into swap character and this loading screen comes up, go ahead and go over to the second character and press A to edit it. And if it's a male like mine right here, when you go into the little room, don't worry, we're going to be able to turn it into a female. So you just want to go ahead and turn the male into a female. And if it's already a female, just um, still hit save and continue and make the name for it and take a picture. If you get this message right here, exit to make your character at 120, go ahead and accept it. But anyway, if your character, second character was a male, come in this room right here and just turn it into a female save and continue and if it's already a female just go ahead and still save and continue and then after that it's gonna load the um casino dlc trailer and i'm gonna be back to show you guys what to do after that all right so after you load inside you, um, your new session you just want to go ahead and open your map and look for a clothing store. If you don't see any clothing stores, like right here, there's no clothing stores. Just go ahead and change sessions or switch sessions. But if you see a clothing store, just go ahead and make your way over to that clothing store. But since those aren't any clothing stores for me, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and change my um sessions or switch my session so the clothing stores can appear on the map for me. So I just finished um, changing my sessions and now I'm going to open my map and then as you can see it shows the clothing store. So now just make your way over to any of the clothing stores. So now when you get to the clothing stores, you want to buy exactly what I'm going to be buying. So first, go into the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. So go to the pants section, sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. Now go into the tops, go to biker cuts and buy the patch darted vest. So go to the um, top section, go to biker cuts. And buy the patch darted vest. I wouldn't wear most of this myself, I have to admit. Alright, so after you buy that, you want to make your way over to the um the shoe section and you want to go to the boots and buy the black slack boots. So make your way over to the shoe section, go to the boots and buy the black slack boots. So those boots right there, the black slack boots. Alright, so now after you've bought um, the black slack boots, come over here to the accessories and you want to go to the earrings and if your character has any earrings off, um, earrings on, just go ahead and take them off but my character didn't have any earrings on. But yeah, after you take off the earrings, go to the gloves and buy the um, light woodland tactical. So go to the gloves and buy the light woodland tactical. So now just open up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to um, body armor, and put on the um, standard body armor. So just go ahead and put on that standard body armor. Alright, so now after you've done that, you just want to go ahead and come and save this outfit in any slot. Just make sure it's not the same slot that your character has his um, outfit that you don't want to lose in. So if my main character has this out um, outfit I don't want to lose in in slot 20, just go ahead and save this in a different slot, it doesn't matter. As long as it's in a slot that your main character has the outfit you don't want to lose saved in. So now we're gonna make a second outfit. You wanna to go to the um tops, the top section, 
you want to go to work jackets and buy the peach camo clothes field so go to the top section go to work jackets and buy the peach camo clothes field then after that you want to stay in the top the top section go to gun running t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt which should be the last one so go to the top section gun running t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt and now you just want to go ahead and go save this outfit underneath the um first outfit we made so let's go ahead and save it um right underneath the first outfit that um we first made and then after you save it you just want to go ahead and buy the um you want to back up first you want to back out and then you want to equip the first outfit so just open up your interaction menu and equip the first outfit and then just hit it right on the d-pad and the lady again go to the standard outfit and buy the chica outfit after that just hit pause back out just hit pause go to online and just go into creator all right so now when you get to creator you want to go over to create a race and go to land race and then you want to go ahead and fill out all these options with the little red triangles and then you want to put the maximum players on um, two and put the route type on point to point and then after that just hit pause and warp over to the airport when you warp over to the airport just hit b go to the placement go to the um, trigger placements go ahead and play the triggers and take the lobby camera and then go ahead and um, make the checkpoints or play the checkpoints the race has to be only 0.62 miles long or more so just, so just make it 0.62 miles or 0.64 miles it doesn't matter and then after you've made it 0.62 miles or 0.64 miles go ahead and hit b twice so you can test the race So after you finish the race, you're gonna get this alert. Go ahead and accept it. And then when you accept it, um, when you load in, just hit pause. You wanna go to online and go to choose character. All right, so now when you get here, you want to go over to your second um, second character that has a Chica outfit on, and you want to hit delete, delete on her. So make sure you delete your second character, not your main character. So go over to your second character that has a Chica outfit on, and hit delete on her, and then it's going to actually confirm it or whatever. And then it's going to load in this other screen with two more characters, and from here, you just want to hit B, so it backs you out into story mode. So just hit B when the two characters come in, so it takes you into story mode. All right, so when we load into story mode, all we're gonna do is just hit pause, go to online, and go to play GT online, and go to invite only sessions. So just go into invite only session when you load in, um, when you load in single player. All right, so now that you load it in online, your outfit is not going to be saved. So if you care about the outfit or you like it, go ahead and just go save it how inside of the clothing shop. Or um, if you spawn in your apartment, you just do it in your apartment too. But you're going to have to make your way over to the clothing shop anyway. And also, I recommend saving your outfit towards the bottom so it doesn't um, it doesn't mess up the merging process when we merge those two outfits later. So once you um, save the outfit, you want to go over to the, um, the um, pants section. You want to go to the cargo pants and buy the sand cargo, which would be the first one. So go to the pants us. section and just go to cargo pants and buy the sand cargo. Then go to the top section, go to the racing jerseys and buy the downhill motocross. So go to the top section, racing jerseys and buy the downhill motocross jersey. That one right there. So then when you get that, you want to go to the shoe section, go to the boots and buy the charcoal tactical boots. So go to the um, shoe section, go to boots, and buy the charcoal tactical boots. And you don't have to save this outfit when you make it. Alright, so when you buy the boots, you just want to back out. And you just want to hit... Also, I forgot to do this. Um, I didn't forget, but I remembered. You want to take off any accessories that your character has on. So my character had an earpiece on, so I'm just going to take it off real quick. So I'm just going to take off the earpiece. And after you take off the accessories, 
hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and you want to go to versus and just start up Crook Cops and invite either your friend or a random, it doesn't matter. So just go ahead, go ahead and start up Crook Cops and invite a friend or a random. And also, most important thing, you want to set the clothing to player owned outfits. So go ahead and set the clothing to player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So when the game mission starts, go to the um, current out um, the owned outfits and hit right on your D-pad twice and you should get this outfit right here. So just go to the owned outfits, hit right on your D-pad twice and you're gonna get the same outfit that I got on right now with the um, cop belt, with the Tron shoes and the Tron body and the racing gloves. All right, so after you, um, you load in the job or the mission or whatever, all you're gonna do is just open up your interaction menu and put on either the earpiece or the rebreather that I told you guys to buy. Just open up your interaction menu, go to the um, accessories, and put on the um, earpiece or rebreather, and then you want to go ahead and quit the job from your phone. If you put on night vision goggles by accident and it messes up the outfit, go ahead and go back to um, the store, the clothing shop, and buy the um, racing jersey, which is the downhill motocross, and buy the cargo pants, which is the sand cargo pants, and buy the um, charcoal tactical boots. That is, if, if that is, if you put on the night vision goggles by accident and then messed up the outfit. You just wanna go back to that part and buy what we bought and then start up the job again and put the clothing on player own. But if you put on the earpiece and rebreather and um, you um, quit the job from your phone, you just wanna go ahead and come save this outfit right here. And after that, you get to keep it. And you can also delete the other two components that we made in our female character because you don't need them anymore. So that's gonna be for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your post notifications. If you got any questions about the glitch, just tell me down in the comment section so I can help you guys out.